everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. I thought I would try something a little bit different today, and today we're going to be making a bead coaster. For today's coaster, we're going to do something a little bit different. I have a cork round, I have a fishing line, a lot of fishing line, and I thought it would be fun to make a coaster with the little seed beads. I have a bunch of them that I've accumulated over the years, and I thought now's a good time. Let's make a coaster out of them. Now this is a good project to do maybe when you're sitting in front of the TV. And all I'm going to do is take different colors. And I'm going to go in order. I'm going to just do colors of the rainbow for this one. So that's the colors that we're using. So I'm going to just keep doing that until I have the fishing line filled up with all of these beads. So this is just going to take a little time and a little patience. Put on a little music and you can just spend some time doing this. So I have strung a bunch of beads and I'm going to estimate that you're going to need about 75 to 76 inches worth of beads. That's what I have here. I measured it. When you get done beading it, you want to tie knots at either end so they don't slip off when you're working with it. So I'm going to quick snip it really close to the end but not so close that the knot will come undone. I'm going to be working with a combination of hot glue and the ultimate glue. The reason I like to use both is because the hot glue will keep the piece in place and keep it in shape while the other glue dries and gives it kind of a, a stronger a stronger bond. So I'm going to put a little bit just right in the middle just a little bit just to get it started. And I'm going to place it right in there and I'm going to let this dry. Now, I am going to take the ultimate glue. And you just need a very thin layer. And I'm going to just start going around a little bit. Once it's stuck on there, you can start to spin it around. Twist it around, snake it around, whatever you want to call it. Pull it and twist it, pull it and twist it. And the ultimate glue dries clear. So you don't have to worry about that. And now when I get to here, I'm gonna add just a little bit of hot glue again, just to help it keep its shape. And you can see what I did right here. I got my beads right into the glue. So I'm gonna quick wash that off. I got a wet paper towel. Just clean it off. Guess I gotta pay attention to that a little bit more, huh? So there it is, and I do have a little blank spot right in the middle, so I'm going to just take a loose bead, and I think I'll just do a pink one and put it in there. I might need two beads, in which case I'll take a light blue. Take a little bit of glue on the end of a skewer stick, put it down in there, place the beads in, and then just let it dry. Now I might put something heavy on here just to kind of make sure everything stays nice and flat because sometimes cork can curl a little bit when things dry and I'd rather that didn't happen. I do have a little bit of an excess here so I'll trim that off once it dries. But I'll add just a little bit of hot glue on the end, on the edge for this one and then we'll just leave it there. When it's dry this is what you're going to have and I put enough glue on here. I'm going to snip it off about right there that'll fall off and these are secure and you can always add another little dab of glue if you wanted to but I think it's okay and here is your coaster look how pretty that is you can put a hot cup on this and everything and it'll be fine here's the back and here's the front be sure to let me know what you think of the beaded coaster in the comments below I hope you guys like the idea of working with the beads it was a little bit of a different idea for a coaster that I hadn't tried before, so be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And I always appreciate it when you guys share my videos. Remember, you can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all over the place. 
I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.